Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to this brand new upload of my channel. And in this one, we're going to be talking about order flow. Now, in terms of order flow, it's probably a term that you hear quite often in smart money concepts. You know, whether you guys are researching this online on YouTube, Instagram, internet, anywhere, you're going to hear it quite often. And it's something that's very, very relevant to the market, especially in terms of the way that, you know, that we do trade and especially the way that I teach as well. Now, in terms of order flow, what actually is it? Now, I'm going to be going through pretty much the theory behind it, first of all. And then we're going to be getting into case studies, both on the higher time frame and the lower time frame, because of course, with order flow, it's relevant to all um, all time frames, whether you're trading even on the weekly, hourly, um, on the minutes as well. It's uh, you're going to realize that it's relevant, you know, throughout all them time frames, and it's something that you definitely have to adopt and understand. So, the whole theory behind it. Now, if we understand about institutional order flow or Oh, that's the whole name, institutional order flow. What it actually means is you've got to think about the, the orders of the banks. Now, many many guys in smart money concepts, the way they explain it is called institutional trading. It's the fact that order blocks are working. You know, when whenever there's a buy happening, eventually there has to be a sell that is mitigated. So what do I mean by that? For banks to sell, this is what they have to do. They have to induce buyers to buy upwards so that goes up and then they can finally put their sell orders in sell 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 keeps going like this eventually price has to come back to mitigate this area and why is that because technically this is this buy is still active so even at this point they're negative right so for them to reduce the losses that they have incurred because of this move to the upside what they have to do eventually is keep buying up to this level and then eventually they can mitigate it. So what does that mean? In theory, what the market would look like is something like this. It buys up and it goes down and it buys up to that level again and it goes down, buys up to that level, goes down. So you kind of you can kind of see the whole idea behind it all. Now, of course, in the market, we do not get something like this. We do not get these channels the whole time. And it's it's something that, you know, retail traders especially, there's something that they bang on about. Oh, okay, if you've got 10 hits, you can keep going. But the reality is, even after, th what I usually say is after three mitigate or two mitigations, the third one's going to be very risky. And that's something that, you know, you really do have to adopt. So remember, anything over, over, two mitigations, be really careful. Especially on the higher time frame. If you do start to get anything more than three, four touches or three, four mitigations, then at that point, you've, um, you've really got to start to think, oh, are we going to continue to respect this? Because it might be the case of this. For example, we might buy up like this, sell. So again, it hits the third time. But eventually, you might get to an area of interest that might be, for example, um, a high time frame order block. As soon as you get to there, you can expect for price to completely break out of that structure and then continue to the upside. This is pretty much the basics of market structure. You're going to, if you do look back on my other videos, you know, definitely uh, you'll start to see this throughout all of my teachings. But yeah, before we continue with the video, you know, please like, subscribe. Um, it really does help with the growth and everything. And um, at the moment, oh, I just wanted to thank you guys for something. Recently, we hit 15K uh, followers on Instagram. You know, it's been a massive journey of growth. And, um, you know, I'm really appreciative on that. And we've just put on this 15K discount. So 20% of everything is valid until the 17th of August. So depending on what time you do watch this video, um, you know, definitely take advantage of the discount. Uh, both packages have gone down, obviously 20% off. Obviously, just use the coupon code. I do accept crypto as well. <clears throat> Only way is through uh, is through emailing me just because there's so many scam accounts out there. But in terms of what's included, um, pretty much the whole course, you know, in terms of 80 videos, we look at technicals in the first four sections, fundamentals in the second section. And then, of course, you know, we've always got the Discord link at the bottom as well. Uh, weekly calls whenever I send in my analysis as well. So you can kind of see how active um, the group is as well. So we've got the general chats, communities, entries. Uh, we even look at things like cryptos, fundamentals, 
but yeah whenever i do enter anything i always do send it into the entries channel and yeah it's just uh, to help you guys on that journey but let's just continue and get straight back into it so we understand this concept the idea of order flow you're looking for the, for the mitigations anything over two obviously be really careful but we're going to be looking at it in the live markets in terms of the higher time frame and then also the lower time frame as well. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Let's just get back into it. So this is one of the rules that I do stick to. Another rule that I do stick to is I only look for order flow trading in an expansion phase. Now, remember this. In an expansion phase, what do I mean by that? So let's just move this here slightly. There's two types of market conditions that you can have. First of all, you've got consolidation. Consolidation just acts up, doesn't really respect supply and demand zones, just might continue to do something like this. However, an expansion phase comes after or before the uh, consolidation. When you do get a massive or a prolonged consolidation, whether it's news or something that might be fundamentally driving it, what you're going to get is something like this, some expansion phase afterwards. The expansion phase is all we're going to be looking for during the order flow. So might have that consolidation, consolidation, might reach some kind of level of demand, supply, whichever it may be. Then as soon as we start to get clear expansion to the upside, that's when we're going to be looking for order flow. Or vice versa, might it will also apply to the downside as well. It's the exact same thing. When we have expansion, that's when we know we can look for uh, for order flow trades. An example is this. You look at this consolidation that we had here for a long amount of time. You know, you, you start to see that buildup of liquidity on both sides of the market. On the downside as well, as soon as we started to break out this structure, look at what started to happen. We're on the one hour time frame, right? So when this breakout happens and we've broken past this structure right here, as you can see, this level or this order block was not respected. What should have happened is if we were buying up, was this order block would have been respected, just tapped it and then bought up. Instead, what price uh, decided to do was to just create these equal lows to then be taken out eventually. As you can see, that's exactly what happened afterwards. But what am I trying to say here? When we do get this expansion phase, we know we're running, uh, we know we're going to be expanding outside of this consolidation. That's when we're looking for order flow trades. And what do I mean by that? These are the areas that I would have had marked up. So I would have had this area marked up. Personally, not this, maybe on the lower time frame, but I would have had this one marked up as well. And personally, this is what I would have seen. As soon as we broke past this equal low and we had this um, sort of continuation of structure to the downside, this is the sell that I would have been looking for. This unmitigated order block to then keep on selling. And again, you can keep on doing it, keep on doing it on the lower time frames, especially, for example, you can see here. You, you could have been given the opportunity to look at two trades right there. And imagine, guys, this is only on the one hour time frame. So what the aim is here is when you're going through trades, even on the higher time frame, you're going to be looking for order blocks after that continuation of structure. And again, you can start to see this uh, type of thing happen again. Now, we can see this on the one hour time frame again down here as well. As soon as we get a continuation, that's all you're looking for. Now, we are stuck within this consolidation phase. So what I'm not going to look to do is to look to enter an order flow the whole time, especially on the higher time frame. Now, this is where it changes. When you're on the lower time frame, you can start to look for these, consolid uh, for these moves of order flow, even within this massive consolidation. Just because if you look at the lower time frame, so this is the five minute chart. Five minute chart, at the moment, it looks like we're in, we're in this order flow um, state. And it's exactly what I'm talking about. If you're on the five minute chart, for example, this is where timing of day is very important as well. I'm going to be coming up with, um, uh, with a video soon about Asian range, about London manipulation, everything like that. 
what I want to introduce in this video, at least just to introduce, is this. Do not look for order flow within the Asian range. So that's anywhere between um, 12 o'clock UK time all the way till about 6 a.m. UK time. You know, usually the way I keep it is from 12 till 5 in the morning UK time. Uh, that's that's how I've got my indicator set up. And if you guys are asking about the indicator, it's called the Asian range NICO uh, 948. Very useful. Um, sent out to my students as well. So they pretty much apply it onto all their charts. But what you're going to be looking for is an expansion phase within London session. So after you have the consolidation within Asian range, all you're going to be looking for is pretty much an expansion within London. New York acts a bit differently. And we're going to be talking about that in some other time. But for London session, you can really catch the higher of the day or the low of the day. All of this depends on how you see market structure at the moment. Now, you can kind of see on the five minute chart, we're respecting a lot of the order flow to the upside, as you can see here, respected, as you can see here, respected to the upside. Then we have a complex pullback to the downside. However, it still respects the higher time frame, or we can say the 15 minute, the 30 minute structure to the upside, and it still continues. As you can see, we've had another break of structure above here. And again, up here as well. As soon as we get that, we're looking for buys. And where does it fall into? A much more deeper discounted area to buy up. Then again, you look at order flow. After Asian range, during London session, what are we looking for? We're looking for buys. So all of this is order flow. Prices keep on, just keeps on being respected. It keeps on being respected to the upside. Now again, like I said, if you're on the higher time frames and you see it tap more than two, three times, obviously you need to be careful. On the lower time frames, it's a bit different. And this is where experience in the market comes in. You really do need, need to spend time on the, uh, on the charts and really understand, you know, can I get into this order flow trade? One thing as well, you might get a few points of interest that pop up, but that's the thing with the lower time frame. You just have to take more entries, reduce risk. So for example, if you've got two points of interest that you're looking at, then of course you're going to be entering on uh, half risk on each one. In this case over here, as you can see, this example over here, there was pretty much only one order block that I would have been looking at. The reason is every other area or point of interest has been mitigated already, potentially apart from this one. This one's been left. But in terms of um, where price was, this was the only order block we would have been looking for. So if we were looking to buy up, long position here, then to potentially buy up to fill this imbalance as the first take profit above this um, this daily high as well. So you can start to see where you can scale out positions as well. But yeah, guys, order flow is very, very important in the market, both on the lower time frame, you can see on the five minute chart, then also on the high time frame. But remember, use order flow during phases of expansion, especially on the high time frame. When you're dealing with it on the lower time frame. Uh, within consolidations, it's still manageable, but on the higher time frames, really try and avoid it. Only look for expansion phases like this, for example. But yeah, guys, I hope that lesson really helps. Um, you know, it's really is just one of my teachers that I do go through in the course. But if you guys are interested, like I said, um, the the discount is going to be on for a limited time. So, you know, definitely do take advantage. Uh, use the coupon code 15K. I'll keep all the links in the description. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, I do do Q and A's on Instagram sometimes. Obviously, hit me up on my DMs as well. I tend to go through them and uh, just respond to DMs. But yeah, guys, take care. And I'll see you all in the next video.